Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget check-in video. So today we are checking in with the pay period that started on the 3rd of May. There's honestly not a whole ton that has happened since our last budget video. I did transfer over half of our mortgage into our like little savings account. I like to separate it just to kind of make it easier to reconcile everything. So I did that and then we did pay our water and trash bill, but that's it as far as bills are concerned. The other bills are gonna be coming out next week. I did put on here that we were paid, that was as expected, and then I did mark off those two bills that were paid. We have not filled up with gas or anything, and that's about it as far as bills. So the only other thing that I check in with each week is our cash envelopes just to see how we are doing, how much cash we have left. One thing I did notice is that we have all of our piano money in here still, and I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, I think we still need to pay Maddie's piano teacher. So today is actually Thursday and Maddie is going to a lesson today, so I'm guessing Andrew will take this with him when he drops her off. So we do need to pay piano still. And then groceries, um, Andrew's been doing quite a bit of grocery shopping in the last couple of days, so um, we need to count this, see how we're doing there. We will fill up cash envelopes again on the 15th, and today is yeah, the ninth. As far as how much we have left until we fill up again, it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82, 83. So 183. That is really good. I feel like Andrew's actually gotten quite a bit at the store. Uh, we're really well stocked on like meat and canned goods and all that kind of stuff. So we should be in really, really good shape when it comes to groceries. So that is awesome. And then for Mando and Cara, they still have, I don't think he's gotten anything for them, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Yeah, I don't, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, yeah. I don't think he's gotten anything for them. I'm pretty sure that's the same amount we had last week. But one thing he might pick up is um, uh, potentially a couple bones. They don't have any like, bone they have antler bones but they seem to lose interest in those so he might go and get them some bones to chew on so that's that and then entertainment we still have some in here we have 20 40 60 80 and 90. so that is looking good we're gonna be quite busy the next few weekends because my oldest daughter is running her lemonade stand and her opening day was this past Sunday. It went so well. She had a lot of customers. She did such a great job. I'm super, super proud of her. So she actually has been taught a couple very valuable lessons through this project. We're doing this for homeschool. So it's teaching her lots of different things. It's teaching her about entrepreneurship, marketing, profit, um, you know, what it takes to run a business, communication skills, there's so much that goes into it. So one valuable lesson that she learned is that we needed to restock on chocolate chips and flour and different things like that because she ran out. And I had to tell her because we took money from her cash box for the lemonade stand. She's like, why are you taking my money? I was like, You're in, you have to invest back in your business. We're using the earnings that you earned through your business, your profit that you earn through your business to invest back in your business and make sure you have all the supplies you need to run your stand um, this upcoming weekend and everything. So that was a big like aha moment for her. But yeah, it went really well, but we're going to be really busy because her stand is going to go every Saturday and every Sunday from one to three for the whole month of May. So we're really excited about it, but I don't know how much we're going to be doing as far as like outings and things like that. I might try to save this up because um, in June, Andrew's going on a golf trip. And so when he's gone, I want to do a couple really fun things with the kids. And one of the things that I want to do is take them to go see a movie. The other thing that I was thinking of doing is ta taking them to get like tinsel put in their hair. I thought that would be really fun and just do a couple fun things. So I might try to save this up if we're not doing anything the rest of the month um, and just have it built up so that we can just kind of have a really fun, a couple of days 
days together. So that is entertainment. Household, empty. I think this is empty last week too. And then babysitting, we have 20 in there, which is perfect because we have um, Bible study tonight. And then we have Bible study next Thursday, and then we're actually taking a break all the way until September. We are making plans over the summer to get together still, but we'll take a summer break. And um, yeah, we pay the babysitter $10 to watch our two kids for the hour. And um, yeah, so that's kind of that. That'll be it for babysitting for a while. We won't need to fill that up next week or anything. But that is cash envelopes. And then some very exciting news that I have not shared yet is that Andrew got a job. <laughs> I'm so excited for him. He's gonna be working at a golf course. It's one of his like top picks for golf courses to work at. He's really excited because it's got a really great management company and that makes a big difference. And they're really big on mentoring there, helping their employees go through the PGA program, which is what Andrew's hoping to do. But I'm so excited for him. He is very much so ready to get back to work. He's really looking forward to it. His first day is this upcoming Monday. So he's really excited. Um, and it's going to change a lot in our family, like the way that we run things and stuff. But we've been doing a lot of work. I've been working on like our schedule <laughs> and that kind of stuff here to like make everything fit and I think we've got a really good plan in place and so um yeah I'm just super super happy for him and yeah that is just exciting so good news to share but anyways that is it for this check-in super short and sweet I hope you enjoyed watching me check in next week we will do another check-in every Friday we check in and um, fill up cash envelopes and all that kind of stuff then but I hope that you all are having a wonderful week. I hope you're able to join me tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have our like digital plan with me little live chat session. It's a live premiere, so I'm online during the video to chat live with you guys, and it's so much fun. So that is gonna be at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're able to join us for that, please do. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. We have new releases coming up next Wednesday, the first new release for mid-year planners. I can't wait to share. So stay tuned for that. Lots of exciting things to come. You don't wanna miss it. And I will chat with you all later. Bye.